What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to figure out if two fractions are proportional to one another or not. And I'm going to show you how to do this by cross multiplying or cross multiplication, okay? So this first example we have here says 3 over 6 is equal to 5 over 10. So to see if these really are proportional to one another, all you have to do is cross multiply them. Okay, and the way you do that is by literally cross multiplying. Okay, you literally draw like a crisscross right here, and then you multiply the numbers together. Okay, so I'm going to multiply 3 times 10. So we're going to do 3 times 10, and I'm going to set that equal to 6 times 5. Okay, 6 times 5. Now, 3 times 10 is equal to 30, and then I'm going to set that equal to 6 times 5, and 6 times 5 is equal to 30 also. So as you can see, we got 30 is equal to 30, right? So that means these two fractions up here, 3 over 6 and 5 over 10, are proportional. And since they're proportional, that means they're actually equal to each other, okay? So let's try a couple more. So here we have 8 over 5 is equal to 24 over 15. Okay, are these proportional? So again, the way you can check is by cross multiplying. So I'm going to multiply these two together and multiply those two together. Okay, so I'm going to do 8 times 15. 8 times 15. And I'm going to set that equal to 5 times 24. 5 times 24. Okay, now 8 times 15 is equal to... 120. Okay, and I'm going to set that equal to 5 times 24, and 5 times 24 is also equal to 120. Okay, so again, since these are equal to each other, that means these two fractions up here, 8 over 5 and 24 over 15, are proportional. Okay, and last one for good measure. So here we have 9 over 28 is equal to 2 over 7. So again, to cross multiply, you can just draw your cross to kind of guide you there. Okay, so I'm going to do 9 times 7. 9 times 7, and that's going to be equal to 28 times 2. 28 times 2. Okay, now 9 times 7 is equal to 63, right? And then I'm going to set that equal to, what's 28 times 2? Well, 28 times 2 is equal to 56, all right? So... As you can see, 63 does not equal 56, right? So that means these two fractions up here are not proportional, okay? That means they are not equal to each other, okay? So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out, and I'll see you there.